Hello, my name is Anthony Bulil and I'm a Geomatics Consultant at GeoBless and today I will show you how to easily create point cloud projects which can contain millions and even billions of points in Vision LiDAR. So to begin, open up Vision LiDAR and uh, you can either create a new project or open an existing project. So you can open a project with file open and also to be noted is in the file menu there's a list of recently opened projects. Right now I'm going to focus on new projects so click on file new project and there are three things that you must enter in before creating the project. So you must enter in a name so let's say I'll just enter in the name example. You must select the project location so this is the uh, location where all the files uh, and the project will be saved either on your hard drive or on your network so you can browse your folder with the button here so now for the source files you can come and select the, your source files here by clicking on the button next to source files and going to your folder where you have your point cloud files so we see here there's a filter filtering through the types of files so now right now we're showing all LAS LAZ files however if your files are in E57 format you could select here or PTS CSV and so forth now you can select for instance only one file or you can also select a number of files so using the control or shift keys you can select any number of uh, files you may want to import into your project. Vision LiDAR is limited to importing 255 separate scans for a given project. Uh, this is because of the file structure. However, if you want to import more than that number of uh, files, you can always check merge scans and all in folder. These options will allow you to import uh, projects with more than 255 scans. Compute normals. This option allows you to compute the normals upon creation of the project. However, you can do this afterwards, so it's not necessary to check this. Uh, 3D file. This is used for all types of uh, project creation. The only instance in which I would recommend maybe unchecking this option is if you have aerial type data. It will create less tiles, but normally keep this checked. So for tile size and max points in tile, these values will determine the number of points in every tile. So as you may know, Vision LiDAR indexes and tiles points in the project. So for example, for the max points in tile, the more points in a tile, the longer it will take to visualize the data, however more points will be shown. If you lower this value, you will perhaps be seeing less points on the screen, but it may be quicker for your computer. So 5,000 max points per tile is the recommended value, but you can change these. It's to be noted that these values cannot be changed once the project is created. Limit by bounding box. This is if you know your uh, bounding box values. If you want to import only within a certain area, you can enter in a bounding box value with your X, Y, Z uh, coordinates here. But this is not necessary. If you keep it unchecked, all the points of the project will be imported. So once we're ready, we're going to click on OK and the indexation of the project will begin. So now, once your project is created, you should see your point cloud in the main screen here. Also, the explorer will appear with a list of classes for the project, scans, and any objects that may be in the project. Now for if any reason you cannot see your points, let's say the points are out of the screen, you can always click on the icon for zoom extents. Or if for any reason the points have been hidden, like so, if you uncheck all the classes, 
you could always go to view show all hidden so that's it for creating a project and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and there's more to come so thank you very much